in the blue corner. He steps in this night in an effort to reclaim his crown, wearing blue trunks trimmed in white and weighing in at the lightweight limit of 135 pounds. As a professional, he maintains a record consisting of 46 victories, five defeats, one draw, and 42 of his victories coming by way of knockout. El orgullo de Empalme, Sonora, Mexico, and fighting out of Mexicali, Baja California, the former WBC lightweight champion of the world, Jose Luis El Temible Castillo. His opponent across the ring in the red corner. He is here this evening to defend his title. Stepping into the ring wearing Carolina blue trunks trimmed in white and weighing in at 134 pounds. As a professional, he maintains an undefeated record consisting of 28 victories. 20 of his victories coming by way of knockout. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, he is the WBC lightweight champion of the world. Pretty boy Floyd Mayweather Jr. You gotta give me the belt. Do it still, baby. I'm gonna give it to Sulman. Yeah, hit him. Okay. Good all right, Castillo. One. Castillo, Mayweather. One. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Ya di la regla camerino. I expect a good, clean fight. Okay. Una pelea limpia. Okay. Okay? Yep. Right here. Los golpes que aquí están buenos. Come here, come here. Punches here are good. Punches here are good. So what, remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. Mayweather's reputation as an untouchable virtuoso was cracked, if not shattered, in the first fight. Can he mend those cracks tonight? Round one begins. Castillo's promise to be aggressive and be assertive from the outset this time after having been way too passive in the first four rounds in April. Mayweather says, if he really wants to come at me, that's great. It'll create more counter-punching opportunities for me. Mayweather, for his part, claims that his performance in the first fight was adversely affected by a shoulder he injured in training and by two broken ribs. He says he's in 100% physical shape for this bout tonight. Castillo's got to make certain that he's aggressive, but don't go wading in and getting caught, because this guy, Mayweather, can punch. Mayweather, all he got to do tonight is defend his title. Jab to the bottom, take the steam out of this more powerful, in my mind, opponent, and just keep winning round after round after round. They both in good shape, George, but Castillo, for the second time, just as in April, enters the ring apparently nine pounds heavier than Floyd Mayweather Jr. What difference can that make in the fight? Oh, that works for Mayweather because the slower, the bigger you are, the slower, the better for his reflexes. Bring up, bring up. Mayweather fights better at a disadvantage than he does well, when he has any up, kind of advantage. Up. Up. Mayweather. Mayweather with far the superior hand speed. So Castillo must be careful how he picks his spots. Some fighters, you know, some fighters, George, excuse me, may claim that they're going to start fast, but if you've been a slow starter your whole career, it's hard to just come in and do something at an entirely different rhythm. I totally agree. And what he's got to do is make certain that he land more shots to Mayweather's body. You, you're fighting a boxer, take the steam out of his legs. You go to his body early and hope that he stops being so fast. Any questions about whether Mayweather could punch were erased when he knocked Diego Corrales down six times in their mega matchup at 130 a couple of years ago. Mayweather points out Corrales came at him as he was expected to do, and Floyd just picked him off with counter shots. 
some guys, they just have your number. Castillo, he comes in, he's aggressive, but yet he's not doing anything. It throws Mayweather off. He likes to jump out of the way and come back and hit you with him something. Castillo doesn't do a whole lot, but yet he's there in your face. Mayweather ever able to lead either with the jab or the hook off the left side. See him here twice leading with hooks. And Castillo catches him and pins him in the ropes toward the end of the round. And when we go to Castillo's corner where they speak Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. Take some air. Don't, don't let him grow. Don't let him grow. Don't let him move so much. Come on, let's get the spit bucket here. We need to put the jab, double jab, and then the right hand. The straight right hand to the body. Double jab, and then the body. Through 11 rounds in this fight, maybe the most significant copy box statistic is that Floyd Mayweather is landing 41% of his punches, 152 out of 373. Jose Luis Castillo has thrown 179 more punches, but he's landed 27 fewer. He's only landing at 23%. So Mayweather has virtually doubled the connect rate on Castillo, and that should put him in command of the fight. Harold, how do you have it coming to the 12? Okay, Jim, I thought Floyd Mayweather Jr., a guy that throws that many right-hand leads, there's something wrong with that left hand. Oh, he's throwing left hooks right now. I have the same score. Um, However, I don't think that Floyd Mayweather has completely repaired that uh, cracked image of a virtuoso that existed after the first fight. He may be in with the guy who's just too strong to look as good as we've seen him against the smaller guys. Well, I think it's, uh, it's one of those win this fight and let and look good in the next one situations <laughs> I think he's gonna win this fight and then he's gonna go forward in his career without worrying again about Jose Luis Castillo yeah, the question is are the fans who came here to see him look good in this fight gonna come back next time and the promise that he'll look good then aren't most of the fans here to see the heavyweight fight Larry yep and that answers the question his corner told him not to move so much this round don't do the expected get in there and rough him up slide you think he listens to his uncle roger oh uh, no <laughs> would you yes i would you need a corner to beat these guys like Castillo. Castillo is one tough cookie break, break, break up. i agree finally gets in one of those left hooks to tap in his money punch, but probably too little too late. Mayweather switches to a southpaw stance, and now back to convention. Good left hook by Castillo there. Mayweather holding on. Castillo's corner wondering why didn't he do this three rounds ago. smiling and juking as they come down the stretch. And they push down just to confuse the fans at the end of the fight. I have Good seven fights. to five for Mayweather. I'm wondering how far we might be off this time. Maybe the judges will go the other way. Well, I, I uh, I think this may have been an easier fight to score than the last one. Tonight's judges, Ken Morita from Japan, Larry O'Connell from England, Daniel Van der Weyle from Belgium. All of them have been seen before in the sport. All have had their questionable moments. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Daniel Van der Weyre scored about 115 to 113. Judge Larry O'Connell scores it 116 to 113. And Judge Ken Morita scored about 115 to 113. All to the winner.
by way of unanimous decision. And still, WBC 